class. Um, all right, class, so we're going to learn how to just do very basic things on Onshape today. So the first thing you want to do is open up a browser. Um, I'm, what you're going to do is you're going to go to www.onshape.com. Okay, make sure it says WWHS and then hit OK. second okay so it must say signing to Woodrow Wilson High School on shape so if you're not here you're on the wrong server okay and your email you should already create an email um, with for on shape if you haven't please uh, do the other lesson to create your on shape account and then you sign in oops let's try that again All right, so now I'm in. So when you first open up your Onshape, you're going to see all the activities that I have created or your classmates and everybody else. So this is the activity um, information here. Uh, the, what you want to do next is go over to Documents. Okay, when you're in documents, I've shared with you our IED assignments. So this is going to be a folder that you're going to be using. And I'm just going to show you some housekeeping stuff. So when you go to create, you can create a document, which is the actual file or a, a, a folder. Okay, so everything that you should do, you should be making your own folder and keeping it in there. You don't want this spot right here to be spammed with a bunch of different stuff. So if you want to create your own personal uh, folder for, you know, for your de designs at home, you can say this is my, um, you know, my uh, personal, and then you can hit create, okay? But we're not going to do that right now. So this is the folder that you're going to be using. You're, you're going to click on this right here. And then everything should be in um, by class period. So I want to alpha alphabetize this so I'm gonna click on name and then everything's gonna be in order so click on your class so I'm gonna do 2a and then here within here what you want to do is create your own folder with your name so your last name is gonna be first so you're gonna put your last name so mine is Miss Lele comma Tao okay um, and then you're gonna hit create so it needs to be your last name and then your first name so this will be easy for us to find later on and you hit create. Okay, so this is my folder right here. So everything I'm going to do is going to be in this folder right here. And then now, so when we go up here, we see I'm in the IED assignments period 2A with my last name and my first name. Okay, so let's say you want to go back to your documents. So you go back to my on shape. So you're here in IED assignments, you click here. You find your class, so this is 2A, 3B, 2B, so on, and then you find your folder. So it should be everybody's names in alphabetical order here, okay? So then you're going to click on your name, right? And then now you can start doing your assignment. So for this assignment, when you want to name your assignment, you want to name it by assignment name, your last name, and then... Um, the title that will help you to remember what the assignment is because the names might not be helpful later on. So we're going to create a document. Okay, we don't want to create another folder. It's going to be harder. We're going to create a document. So your document name should always be the assignment number. So in this assignment, 1.02. And then you're going to put a uh, period, your last name. So my last name is Lay. And then your description of the assignment uh, name. So I think we're doing the isometric block. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. That should work. Isometric block. Let me change that. Black block. Okay. And then you hit OK.
So then it's going to be loading your workspace. So this is your workspace. This is where all of the creativity, everything that you're going to be doing in this, and you don't have to share it with me because I can easily manage it and see it. Um, so whenever there's an assignment, I can go into one point to your name and then whatever it is that you have. And then you're going to hit, um, and then you're going to do that. So we're going to go back, okay, just so you can see it. We're going to go back to our um, on shape here just to show you again. So whenever you want to go back, click on the word on shape. And then you want to go to my on shape. Okay, here's your on shape. And then when you see here, this is the folder that you have and then whatever is last open by you. So I'm gonna click on my ID assignments, my class, my name, and then this is my first assignment, 1.20, your last name, and then the title of your project or whatever it is that you're gonna be working on, okay? And then if you can see up here, you can always go back. So if I wanna go back to your period, you can click 2A. If you want to go back to IED assignments, you click on IED assignments. And if you want to go back to your on shape, you can click on shape. So after you do that, so let's say you open up your document. I think you can just click. You can see over here who, who it was created by. So the owner will be Woodrow Wilson High School. Location created by, so I can see if you've created it or not. Um, last modify, who modify it last. So if you, um, so it'll be easy for me to see if you did it or not. So if you click on that, so I think I can just open this. So if you double click on it, it's going to open up the document that you're going to be working on. Okay. So everything is in uh, 3D view. So some features that I really want to focus, if you right click, okay, if you right click, and you hold it down, it's going to move it around. If you press the shift, um, yeah, if you press the shift in, or in the Apple, I believe if you press, uh, no, sorry, control. If you hit control and um, do that, if you hit control, you can move it around. Okay, you can move it left and right. So hit the control button and then the left click, that would take you uh, left and right. So if you hold down the right click, you can rotate it. Okay. If you, um, hit control and the right click, you can move it left and right. This is really important for you to be able to move around without doing too much. If you want to zoom in, you can scroll up, down, and then you can zoom in. Okay, so one more time. To move it around, I'm going to right, hold down on my right click and then move it around. If you're on the laptop, you hold down the right click and then you move your, cur your, um, your mouse track around or your trackpad pad around. And then I want to move it up and down, so I'm going to hold down on my uh, control, CTRL, and then right uh, left click, and that'll move it around. And if I want to zoom in, I just um, use my scroll button. So it's really important to have a mouse. Okay, you can also do it up here as well, but it's going to be you know a little bit harder for you to uh, to work with. You can do the arrows um, left and right, and then you can move it this way. And that way okay so as you can see it looks kind of funky right now so what I want to do is put it back in the isometric view so if you click on this little block right here you can go to isometric and it goes back to what it is originally okay so I can move it around rotate it I can move it up and down and then I can zoom in and out and then if this is something I don't like I'm gonna to go to isometric 3D view, the right, the, uh, the right view, the top view, looking down, and the front view, looking right straight at it. So whenever you are working on on shape, you can decide which view you want to look at. You can be at the right view, the top view. Okay, if you highlight over it, the right view, the top view, or the front view. If you highlight on it, you can see which view you're going to be working on. I like working it from the top view, looking down at an object. Um, but it's going to be preference here. So let's do top view. So I click on my top view, plane. It's going to be done. Actually, I'm going to click here in the top view. Okay. And now it should say top view. And then if you want to go back to your isometric, 
let's say you didn't like that view and you want to go in the front view. Okay, front view will be here. You'll see that. And then click out of the workspace to see the, um, the front view. If you want to go to go back to isometric, the right view. Okay, um, isometric. Okay, so I'm actually going to move this over a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go, I'm, I like working the top view. So I'm going to work from the top view. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to create our isometric block that we're making. So in order to create something, we got to sketch it. So you've been sketching on paper, so now we're going to sketch it on the computer. So you're going to go up here to sketch. Okay, and it says select a sketch plane. So the sketch plane that we're creating is the top. So you want to hover over the top and we're doing the top plane, okay? And then now we're going to create a uh, rectangle. So you're gonna highlight corner rectangle. Let's see, there are different, oh, you can do center rectangle as well. So we can do corner or center. So let's do a center point rectangle. So I'm gonna hover over my origin and move it out, okay? And I'm gonna make this rectangle uh, four by five. So let's do a four by five rectangle. So I'm gonna click, okay? And then to change it, I'm just gonna hover over this. Oops. So you see when I click, it goes to the next one. So if I want to get out of this, just hit the escape button and that takes me right out of it, okay? So I wanna change my, okay, so if I wanna change my dimension to this, cause it doesn't look like it's four by five, I'm gonna go up to uh, dimension up here. And the little D, that's the shortcut for it. So dimension, and I'm going to hover over this and click it. So I want this to be, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna go click from here to here. Yep, from here to here. So I want that to be, let's make it four inches. Okay, so I'm gonna click it, put four inches. Oops, I guess it doesn't matter, just put four. And then it should load, and that's four. And then I want my other to be about five inches. So the other side, so from uh, top to bottom. Sorry, so I don't wanna dimension it, so I'm gonna hit exit out and I'm gonna undo. I'm going to hit dimension again. I'm going to go from here to here. So that's, oh, oh that's not right. From here to here. Oops, let's dimension this. Okay, let's click this. Where, there we go. So from here to here, this I want it to be about five. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit so you can see it. I'm going to move it down. Oops. Okay, four by five. Okay. And then Okay, as you can see that everything is in black. So it went from blue to black. Black means that everything is dimension. Everything has a dimension on it. So you can always change it later, but this is gonna be four to five, and when you edit it, everything will change accordingly, okay? So the next thing we want to do is, okay, I want to um, hit the check mark because I am done with this first sketch. So here's my first sketch. So after I'm done with my first sketch, I want to extrude it and make it turn into 3D. So right now it's 2D. Okay, this is an orthographic view. We want to turn it into an isometric view. So we want to extrude it going up. So to extrude it going up, I'm going to um, hit the extrude button, which is up here. Okay, and it says, what do you want to extrude? So faces are sketched region to extrude. So I'm gonna click this here. And it asks, well, what's the depth? So how uh, high do you want it? Well, let's just keep it at one inch and then hit the check mark. Okay, so remember everything you see right now is in 2D view. So if you wanna see your isometric view, you click up and then here is your block, okay, that you have uh, created. 
So if I want to see it from my top view again, I'm going to click top view and then it's in 2D. But if I click on my isometric, I'm going to see it as a uh, three dimension. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our top view. And I'm going to create another sketch on top of this plane right here, this new plane that I have. So I have one sketch, one extrude. I'm going to create another sketch. So I'm going to go sketch my second plane. So this is where my second plane is going to be. It's going to be right on top of the first plane, on top of my first um, rectangular box. So I'm going to click on that. And it says the face of extrude one. Okay, all the faces. And then I'm going to hit, and then I'm going to sketch another uh, rectangle on that. Okay, so I'm going to create another rectangle on that. Um, let's try to do, um, let's see. Actually, I'm going to do a line. Let's see, a line would be better. I'm going to go, because I want mine to be, so I'm going to go line from here to here. And let's see, line from here to here. Yep, there you go. So let's say um, I'm going to put a line here. Okay, so there's my line. And then see how it continues like that. So if I want to get rid of that line, I'm going to hit escape. Okay, so then I have this box right here that I'm going to create. But I want this to be um, from here to here to be a certain distance. So let's say I want it to be um, three inches. So I'm going to dimension it. No, that's still four. Okay, that's not gonna work. Um, okay, so that doesn't really work. Let me try to do this. So I'm gonna create, so let's say I'm gonna create this from here to here, and then from here to here. And I use the line function from here to here, and from here to here. Okay, let's see. Okay, so as you can see, everything is in uh, blue, and I'm going to, I guess that's the same thing. I'm going to dimension it. So let's dimension this right here. So let's, oops, let's go back to my sketch. So this is my sketch, so I'm going to double click on my sketch, and I'm going to dimension this. Here. Yep, there you go. So I want to go from here to here, and then this is going to have to be, um, let's say I want it to be uh, three inches. Oh, so it's pretty good. Okay, so three inches, and everything's in black, so everything's dimensioned. So now I want to extrude this going up. So I'm done with my sketch, so I'm going to click the check, and then I'm going to extrude it again. So click the extrude. And the face of region to extrude, so I'm going to extrude this region. So if I highlight over it, you're going to see the yellow lines all the way around. Okay. And I'm going to bring it um, up. Let's see. Let's see how high do I want it to be. So let's say um, uh, four inches. Let's do four inches. Okay. Four inches. And I'm going to hit check let's make sure that this is right okay so you can't really see it yet until you go back into your isometric view there we go so now you have this uh, crazy looking block so now you have this um, this block right here it is so I can rotate it and if you want to hide some of your planes let's say if you you're working from the top plane you want to hide your front you click over here and you can hide it and then it's not in the way of you um, with your object and let's say if I want to kind of rotate it around move it up and down rotate it I can see my shape and then if I need to go back I'm gonna click on my isometric view okay this is my isometric view that I have some other features if you look here this is your first part okay and if you highlight on it, it'll see this. And you can rename this to, um, so you right click rename. You can rename this to um, part one, which is the, the block. 
And as we are working here, we're going to be adding different parts and so on to your, um, to your design. But yeah, this is how you do an isometric view of a block. So as you are looking at this here, I'm going to go out of here. Um, click out of it. So as you are looking at this here, you have um, your um, different views. You have your top view, which looks not like this. Okay, and then you have your right view, which looks like this. And then you have your uh, front view, which looks like this. So each view looks kind of a little bit differently and you want to make sure to translate from 2D to 3D.